Hey, let's look at Exodus 22, verse 28 today about cursing rulers. Let's see what it says. You shall not curse God, nor curse a ruler of the people. So what does that mean? Does that mean you can't say anything you don't like, uh, maybe about a president or a governor or somebody like that, or maybe the head uh, bishop or whatever in your, in your religious area? Well, first of all, what does it mean here to curse? It means literally to take lightly or make light of, okay? So uh, to empty that person's name of value. And sometimes people say, well, I don't like the person who's in the office, but because I respect the office, I'm going to treat them with respect. So that might not be the best motivation, but it's better than treating people with disrespect. So it says here, you shall not do this. It's just laid out there. This is something you don't do. You shall not curse God, and that's the first thing. And it's interesting that that's put side by side with you shall not curse a ruler of the people. So cursing God and cursing a ruler of the people, there they are kind of lined up side by side. That's, that's, we should notice that. That's an interesting piece. So first of all, would you take God and take his name and his character and who he is and his plan of salvation, the way he treats people, would you, would you take that lightly? And if you would take that lightly, that would be, that's basically cursing God. If you treat it as an indifferent thing, something to laugh about, make fun of, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's cursing God. So we think of about, oh, I wouldn't use these certain words, certain literal swear words. Well, no, you shouldn't use certain literal swear words. You shouldn't ever do anything that would empty God of the dignity that is due him. He is, after all, the infinite, all-powerful, all-loving, all-merciful creator. And you and I, we are creatures, and at the end of the day, we don't smell very good, okay? So there's quite a big difference between us and God. So we don't have any business making fun or making light or demeaning God's things. But here it's put side by side with the ruler. What about the ruler? Anyway, we don't need to express that. Remember, every idle word we speak will give account of in the judgment we're told elsewhere in the Bible. And I think it's true, don't you? So we need to bite our tongue a lot of times and let's let good things out into the world. So a lot of times too, we, we also have a thing today where we're like focusing on a certain leader. It's that leader's fault. It's that leader's fault. Really, it's there's a whole group of people around that leader. There's a whole... A group of people who have a part in causing society to be good or bad. And you and I are some of the people. We're part of the society after all, right? So let's us do our part to be good. I'm not saying we can't criticize anything, but if we do uh, have a word of critique, let's let's try to be constructive and positive most of the time. Now, you've got all-out war sometimes where people are doing everything in their power to undermine, destroy, and overturn a society, overturn a culture. So again, this isn't a normal case. Uh, that will require a stronger kind of response. So anyway, keep all these things into account, but think twice before you curse a ruler of the people because really it comes back and it demeans that the value of that rulership and it and doesn't lift that person into a place where gooder things, gooder things can happen. All you English teachers out there, I know I shouldn't have said it that way. Okay, see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day.